Hey guys, and how are y'all? It is Super Bowl Sunday. Um, we had a friend of ours that was throwing a super is throwing a Super Bowl party tonight. We were supposed to go. Um, I didn't even get up until three o'clock. I just, I think I just overdid myself yesterday, and I just went and ran a couple extra errands. That's all I did, but I just think it was just too much. So. Um, I didn't even wake up till 3 o'clock today, and then I woke up with fever and immediately started getting sick, so, um, but my daughter, my oldest daughter, Molly, and her boyfriend, Alex, came over tonight, um, because we're thinking it's probably time to, um, just, you know, handle things with Oreo, aka Little Cat. And she used to work for um, the vet, um, Dr. Beach, and so she actually emailed Dr. Beach to make sure that she would be in the office on Wednesday, because Molly just happens to be off Wednesday, and so does her boyfriend, Alex, so um, we're all going to meet up at the vet on Wednesday, and she said, you know, Mom, she said, I really kind of wondered if maybe you were just exaggerating a little bit about Oreo. She said, but as soon as I took one look at him, she said, he's never looked like this. And I said, I know. And of course, you know, when he saw them, he actually meowed for like the first time in a week. And he jumped down off the bed and he went and he jumped up on the couch. And I don't think he's walked that far in days. And it's like he's still eating, but pretty much only if I bring it to him, if I wait for him to eat. He's past couple, maybe three days, he stopped. Um... And that's fine. I don't mind bringing it to him. I will cater to him as long as I know he's happy and comfortable. But that's just not like him. And so it was nice that when they were here, you know, he kind of, it was like, we saw like, you know, the usual Oreo. But before, by the time they left, he was already back laying down on the couch. And, you know, she saw that he couldn't even hold his mouth all the way, you know, shut. He just kind of with his tongue out more than he usually does because the tumor that the dog did see way that was so far back I couldn't even see it is now kind of like like in that area it's, it was in the back side now it's just moved further up the side of his tongue um and that's just been in like three weeks and he's been on steroids and antibiotics this entire time in fact he just finished his antibiotics last night um, and his steroid, he now has every other day, so he didn't have it today, he'll have it tomorrow, but, um, late last night, I don't know, maybe early this morning, middle of the night, I was up getting sick, and when I got back in bed, I noticed that his breathing was very slow, and I kind of thought that maybe something was happening then, but when I got up this afternoon, he was still kicking with us, so... Not that I want anything to happen to him, but if it's going to have to happen, I'd rather him just go to sleep with me and that just be that. I keep looking that way because he's laying there sleeping, so. <laughs> you know, part of my heated blanket where it's the hottest. But, um, and like I said, he technically is Madison's cat. And, um, uh, O'Malley is Molly's, but... So they're 14 and 18 years old, so they've been with us a long, long time. Anyway, so, but yeah, my hubby was going to go to the Super Bowl party and probably head home. In fact, I think he's heading home now, like halftime, assuming it's halftime. <laughs> and, um, I've just pretty much been watching, um, Incredible Dr. Pohl <laughs> all day. Or since I've been up, I've only been up like four hours or so. But anyway, so. But I love you guys, and I hope you're having a great day. So, and like I said, I'll keep you posted on things. But right now, we're all going to meet up at the vet on Wednesday. I'm going to call him tomorrow and go ahead and get an appointment set up and let him know that we've already talked to Dr. Beach and that Molly emailed her. Because like I said, she used to work for Dr. Beach and for that vet, and that's who they still use as well. And like, she takes both of her cats there, but... Especially her um, exotic cat, Sebastian. He's a sphinx. Not a lot of vets have experience with them. But, um, yeah, we use Dr. Beach with Nacho, our chihuahua. And 
right after my husband and I got married, we had to put down Martini, my weenie dog. He was only five, and Dr. Beach did it. He had the typical weenie dog, docks and back issues, and we did everything except surgery. And she's the type of vet that tells you, you know, if she thinks surgery will help with that particular animal, she says do it. But she said, Carrie, even if you're willing to pay 20000 she said, I'm telling you, it's not going to fix him. And it, he's still going to hurt. And so she really tells you like it is. Like my neuro-oncologist, but I like that. So um, she's not a money-based or money-biased um, vet by any means. Doesn't mean she's cheap, but it's, she doesn't base it off money. So, But anyway, so that's that. So we're just going to um, just continue to love him. So make sure he's happy and something changes and I know his pain level is too unbearable or he just gets that uncomfortable then we'll do it before Wednesday but if not right now it's looking like Wednesday and even they said he just looks like man I just feel like crap and I said and that's the thing that's how I feel 24 hours a day I tell people all the time imagine trying to go shopping or run errands or run to Target or go wash your car when you feel like you literally are on the instant verge of just uh, that you just get so tired of feeling like crap and I know that's how he feels so I get it I really do but anyway so but I love you guys and I'll be back so bye